BMC you know, it's one horses. thing to have the winning ticket, but it's also it's a chance to have the winning horse. How do you get to stall 40 here at Pimlico? It is not easy. On this Preakness Eve, we visit the GBMC for Horses, Sagamore Farms. And as we stroll out into the calf high grass, which one of these babies will be a champion? Uh, don't waste your $2 bet just yet. Listen to the odds. Out of 28,000 horses born, only 20 made it to the Derby. The great thing about the sport is it can happen to anyone. It happened to the owners of California Chrome. Their group is called Dumb Ass Partners. They stumbled into a fortune of good luck on an $8,000 gamble. That's the one side of how great this game is that, you know, if you, there's that lottery ticket, it happened to anybody. And then there is the steady as they go here at Sagamore. This is a breeding ground. 13 foals were born here since February, and once they turn two and strong enough to carry somebody on their back, they'll hit the track. Every horse has his own personality, his own routine, his own uh, things that he likes and things that he dislikes, and I think that our job is to find out that, how we can have him happy. Like the babies around him, he was born into racing. His family has been in the sport since the 1870s in Argentina. His job is to make the horse fit and relaxed and ready to run on race day. I'm excited that everybody has when you have a good horse. I mean, it's, uh, it's a thing that keeps you up every morning and coming here every day. I mean, the next star, the next good horse, the one that you dream, I mean, that's, that's what it keeps you moving. At the crack of dawn, horses like Hemp have been stretched out had breakfast of hay and then took a gallop around the track. Hamp had it when he first stood up, and if we could read his lips, his first words were, get me to the gate. Hamp is here at Pimlico tonight, getting ready to race in the morning. Sagamore has seen tremendous success since Kevin Plank bought the farm in 2007. Horses born here win place a show, first, second, or third, 50% of the time. That's pretty good. Now it's a matter of how do we take this energy and uh, build on it. To us, it's a sport. To owners, it's more than a hobby. Here in Glendon, this is a business, an industry, which they see as coming back because of locally grown talent. And for the first time in a long time, every horse's head, hoof, and tail are on the same page. In the past, there's been a lot of uh, butting of heads and a lot of people looking out for their own personal interests, but now there's, I think, a, a more cohesive togetherness where people are starting to get it. But now it's back to work. Follow the prince, and maybe this will lead you to the finish line with no one ahead of you and every horse behind you. Hopefully, you know, one day those racing gods bless you and uh, you have a spectacular horse. Remember this freak to see the night you saw a champion for the first time. Come back in three years and maybe the racing gods will be kind to Sagamore Farms.